You wouldn't? I'll party? get to that. <laughs> I took, I, guys, the only time I drink is when somebody does a champagne pop. When was the last champagne pop? Two months ago? That was the last time I drank. I never drink. So literally two sips, I'm already feeling it. Okay. <laughs> How early on would you want a guy to be like willing to take a bullet for you? I feel like it may be a red flag if he does it too early on. You've been dating for six months. Uh-huh. Should he take a bullet then? Yeah. Oh, okay. hold on. Nickelodeon donated $200. Man. Why would he defend you? He's just a man trying to assault you, and none of you trust men anyway. It's so, actually like a really interesting. It's not true. On one I, hand, women are terrified so of men. <laughs> so different. So different. It's the guy you're dating. Yeah. But they also acknowledge that men are also mm. typically the when it. Let's talk about the heroism gap between men and women. Mm. Men are also most likely to be the ones who do these heroic deeds and save people. So that's always interesting. Can we? Maybe I'm feeling it too, because now I'm curious what the actual like statistic is on bear encounters, like how many <laughs> deaths there are. I am curious uh, what that number is. Some... Well, let's go around the table on the how soon thing, but I'll look into that. Go ahead. I'll go with six months. Six months. Oh God, I don't know. At least a year. I missed the first two. So questions. six months, no expectation. No. How soon? A year. One year. Mm -hmm. I, I literally missed so much. So it's like, would I take a bullet for him? And then how soon should Wait, we do that? Mm -hmm. Okay. I probably would take a bullet because, you know, I'm Wait. really dumb. And then he probably should because he's a man and he's probably built that way. That's why most infantry men are men. And then, I mean, it should be instinctual for him. But at the same time, like, why would a man risk losing his life? and letting other people down to save someone just met. So mm -hmm. I, I don't know. That's why I was like, oh. Soon into a relationship, should a guy be willing to sacrifice his life for his girlfriend? Time span, I'm not sure, but when she's his, like... Okay, here's the way to view this. Your boyfriend and girlfriend with a guy, you've only been dating for three months, though. Would you want him in that instance? Like, would you have an expectation of him to lay down his life for you no, he's Your boyfriend. Just, he just met me, probably. Okay, all right. I think that when a guy says he loves me, like if he's like, I love you, and I'm like, really, would you take a bullet for me? And he goes, ooh, and then no, and then I'd be like, that's okay. Like, I, I you know, you, you don't either. have to. I don't have no expectation, but I wouldn't believe his love. I think that if, it, it seems like it takes a guy a while to fall in love with me, apparently according to my dating records, but <laughs> yeah, maybe like a year or so. I don't know, this is a complicated question. I would say like whenever we're out and about, but yeah. First date. So, so, so for guy, what? just to be clear. So your current, oh my God. Want, you want a guy who's going on a first date with you. Let's, you. let's say you go on a first date with a guy this Friday. That... <laughs> you want that guy to take a bullet for you. <laughs> while on the date, also while on the date with this new guy, there's a hundred percent chance you're thinking about your ex. <laughs> no, that's not how it goes. I guarantee if you're on a date, if you go on a date tomorrow, no. get robbed at gunpoint oh, for the date no. with you. Like, hold up, bro. Before you steal her money, let me call her ex real quick so he can come oh, and intervene yeah. in this situation. I mean, like what she said, except different. Like mm -hmm. if he were to tell me he loves me, whatever, at whatever point that is. Mm -hmm. then like, yeah, you're going to take a bullet mm -hmm. from me. Mm -hmm. okay. If that takes him three months to fall in love with me or six months or a year. What about you? No, bro. If we are on a first date and someone comes with a gun and you hide behind me or we're shot at, <laughs> I have to take the bullet for it's, you. It's a cringe. Say we both survived. I'm never going out with you no. ever yeah. again. Yeah. It's yeah. not happening. Wait, I agree uh, with that. That, that's a good way to frame it. Going around the table would the, would all your girls agree? I that, agree. That, the, that it was so yeah, yeah, if you shrieked like yeah. a girl and shot like Randy Or push me in front of the guy. Yeah. I've actually been in this situation before <laughs> with my first love. I was in Atlanta. We were coming out of the grocery store and a guy said something to her. He was basically trying to talk to her in front of me and then he winked at me things got escalated mm -hmm. and he pulled out a gun but i was prepared i said yeah you gonna shoot me it's whatever but my girl i told her to get in the car her sister actually came and got in front of him and was like no we're not doing this here and then we had some other guys who wanted to check on us just random guys we didn't know he was like y'all good he had a gun as well yeah. i didn't have my gun at the time i couldn't carry in the state of georgia so yeah but i've actually been in that yeah. situation Dang. and 
I mean, I wasn't overwhelmed with fear. I just wanted to make sure that my girlfriend was straight. You know yeah. what I mean? And that's so, where, like, wait, first no, okay. she was my first love. We've been in a relationship for two years. Yeah. And your yeah. instinct mm-hmm. was to send her to safety. Yeah, yeah. And mm-hmm. you stood there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, here's where the whole panel turns against me. Uh, yeah, I don't think actually at any point ever in the relationship you take the bullet for your woman oh. mm-hmm. ever. You have kids, you never take the bullet for her. We don't, I haven't really fully developed We're precise uh, circumstances of the hypothetical, but just in a hypothetical where one of you has to die, it, it could be a violent other person, it could be a train, it could be an environmental disaster, zombies, so I don't dark. know what it is. I always think it's better if you, the guys, you survive. <laughs> What is well, wrong it, with you? I heard it as you would push your kids in front of the guy. With the, I was like, wait a minute. No. Not a protector, no. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I don't think you've been cool, in love but, yet. No, I've been in love. And even when you were in love, you didn't feel like taking a bullet for a girl? Oh, I mean, I'd obviously pr- be protective of, of a girl. But it, again, this is such a hypothetical, specific scenario. Mm-hmm. In some scenario where I have time to perhaps do the calculus of, mm, okay, well, if I attempt to intervene, I'm going to die. She survives. Uh, so you value your life That's crazy. Thing. It's a level Sorry. of, of you're yeah. valuing your life more than hers, yeah. and then you have a level of the, selfish. The only people I could yeah. potentially see myself sacrificing my life for would be my children. Mm-hmm. And I'm pretty confident, like, I, I'd probably do some crazy shit if anything was going down with my parents. Mm-hmm. Like a violent scenario or something, I would protect my parents. So, would you shit, tell your girlfriend that? I could get another that? wife. Can't get, you know. Would you tell your girlfriend that? Like, if you had a girlfriend right now, she's would she, she, would she you can tell watch her like podcast. I'm not, I'm not, I would Mm-mm. not take a bullet for you. Would she do it for me? Mm-mm. Would you tell her to her face that you're she not taking me, yeah, a bullet fuck for it. her? I'll tell her I'll right to her face. <laughs> That's crazy. A, why is that crazy? It's just not masculine. How is it not masculine? It's like the least masculine thing. You're not being a Women protector. Women don't determine what is masculine. But we get to determine what's an ick, and that's an ick. Let like, me ask you a question. I, feel I like mean, you I'm just would take a here. bullet, Brian. Just, like, you don't no. think you would do it now, but then all yeah. of a sudden it would happen. You're like, fuck this shit. And then you'd go and, like, do it. Yeah. And it's like, whoa, like, Bro, <laughs> you know? <I> yeah, <laughs> you've never been in that situation, so you don't know. She's yeah. pregnant, but that's not how you would feel with the right woman. So you feel like she's another man. If she, I would be this this guy. Like she asked you my question. Uh, what if she's pregnant? She with ready. your ready. child. Mm. That's two deaths. I'll tell you what. He wouldn't oh do it because it, it doesn't matter. Because he can get another girl pregnant, right? You could get monster. I fail to see how that's monstrous. What do you mean? Like the, men the are the ones on the front just, line. Just, okay, so let me ask you all a question. Yeah. Let's talk about the trolley dilemma. So, <laughs> do, are you guys familiar with the trolley problem? Yeah. There's a train track. It, it diverges. There's a lever. If you pull the lever, you'll diverge it to the other train track. There's five people who are tied on the train track. You do nothing. The train just proceeds and kills the five people. <laughs> on the other track, if you pull the lever, it'll divert it, and it will kill your brother. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which one do you pick? Do you pull the lever? That's mm-hmm. so horrible. You pull the lever? I wouldn't answer. You have to answer. It's, it's, it's oh. a real psychological I experiment. Say, a I would yeah. definitely save my brother. Yeah, my brother. Yep. You're a monster then. I, I have a thought. So Every here's the trolley dilemma. I'm on the train track. There's a lever next to me. I can do nothing. And then the train just runs me over. <laughs> Sorry. I'm Sorry. So what? What would huh? you actually do? Run? Yes. I would preserve my life. So what if you're- you, you think you can run away- About it. Most people when asked this question are gonna virtue signal. No, of course I, I would- you Bro. Think. I would genuinely not pull any and just let it- I think if like a boyfriend or a husband was to choose me over the kids, if he chose me, I'd be like, you selfish son of a bitch. And I wouldn't even like date yeah, him I, because I'd be like, you should have chosen the kids. I should have fallen off the cliff. Look, <laughs> here's, Obviously, here's the no reality, right? Have to be forced We're talking to about chivalry. Kind of Are modern women I'll take a- deserving of the ultimate chivalry the ultimate sacrifice that's on the men's part laying down his life y'all are modern women and you want a man to fucking die for you but you complain about cooking for him doing the laundry doing all this shit i love doing all bro you want a man to lay down his life for you and all y'all are not you stop 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 go off king hold up Hold up. He's I'm traumatized. Sorry. Check this shit out. This I'm not situation. I'm not saying you guys in general. I'm saying I would argue the vast majority of women are not these 
Sh okay, look, chivalry, right? Are ladies That's the ones who are entitled to gentlemanly treatment? Wait, Brian. Answer the question. <laughs> Who's entitled to chivalry and gentlemanly treatment? Are women deserving of a man to lay down his life? That depends on how he feels about yeah. it. No, ask the damn bear to take a bullet. <laughs> These girls would rather be in a forest with a bear than with a man. But we're not talking but, about a random man. But, yeah, but you want a man different. to lay down you his life for you, but you guys have, bear. those of you who said the bear, you have a terrible bear view. Bear you guys no, have no, terrible no. views on Wait contempt for men. You guys no. have contempt for men. Let me talk. You guys yeah. have contempt no. for hate men. You guys are no, misandrists. No. You guys, okay, these modern so women. Weird. Hold on, let me let mm -hmm. me talk. Keep going. These modern women are misandrists. <laughs> They'd rather be with a bear in a forest than a man, but they want their boyfriend to lay down their lives for them? That's some topic. crazy shit. You didn't say a bear in a boyfriend. Why you need to find a girl dating a woman like that This girl right here. This girl right here. Dating a woman like that anyway. I would go on a first. I go on a first date with this girl. She just fucked her ex boyfriend. Last night, she wants me to take a bullet. She That's fucked not. another guy the night before. You want me to take a fucking bullet? Absolutely no. not. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Let it out, out, King. Let it out, King. Are you out of your fucking mind? He ain't Holy doing that. Nobody says that. You said no more champagne. No These more champagne for you. <laughs> You're generalized. Oh, bro. I mean, first of all, you wouldn't even be dating a woman like that. So, what are you talking about? That's not your type. Oh my god. <laughs> Get him so some water. Happy. Calm down. He needs an IV. <laughs> I, I had three sips of champagne, boys. I'm Calm we get two bottles of water, right? We're just sacrificing our girlfriend. Wait, but you're, you're, you're kind of generalizing women to be like, all women are doing OnlyFans, all women are like degrading themselves. No, not. And that's not true. That's they're why not. you should date a woman that shares the same values as you. Who you would want to yeah, take a bullet with them. Bro, here's, here's pill, I know you have shit, something though. to say here's to him. Come on. She could be a virgin, never had a first kiss. I am securing my dynasty, son, my lineage. Okay, this dynasty. great, she's a virgin. I love that, that's fantastic. I'll just find another one. I'll find another one. Let me just, oh, I'm in the chat, I'm in the chat. I'm a guy in the chat. In the chat. <laughs> Brian, such a beta male, of course I would take a bullet for a girl who I've been dating for three months. Go ahead, dude. Why are you doing the I'll robot? Just I'm just gonna, I don't know, bro. I'm fucking drunk. Dave Chappelle. Three, Three sips, y'all. He's tired. Three sips. I think it would be. Showing I don't, his I don't true call colors. Myself, I'm not an alpha. I don't call myself an alpha male. It would be the most fucking gangster mm. alpha male, sigma Ooh. male shit, sigma grind set. Please do not call your unprotected sigma alpha. Sigma grind set. Yeah, man. No, uh -huh. man. She can take the bullet. I'm gonna find another girl. I'm gonna have seven sons, and they will. Conquer, you... what's that freaking, you know, On the tomb children, of your what's that, what's that Bible verse? Ch uh, children <laughs> in a man's youth are like arrows in the quiver mm -hmm. of a warrior. Bows and... Seven <laughs> sons, bro. Oh, oh, I'm so, I'm so masculine. Let me just end my life for this chick. Your girlfriend. Your wife. Or, or, your mother or of your children. Or, 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 the or, mother or, of your children, on, on. the chick? Yeah, because oh, let me double down. Oh, yeah, no. we have, I have three. I she gave me three kids. And you just let this yeah. lovely. I love her so much. And you just ran away like a little baby. And your thumb. Oh, no. <laughs> People think negatively about me. Oh no. Yes, as they should. As You're they should. Oh, just no, negative my, about yourself. Oh, people think poorly. We of are me. very okay, sorry. Well, we don't have not, like something it, like like. The train. If I you should try kids. to save both of your lives. I think yeah. if I have kids, hold on, let me say this. Yeah. Yeah. I think if I have kids, I can make a better argument for me surviving. Uh -huh. <gasps> I'm more capable of protecting them. I think it, through your it's not about the protection. It's about the fact that if she were to die, you love her so much, you cannot see your life without her. What? And your life yes. would be nothing. The connection that is everything. Why? How are you going to protect your kids if you could That's never protect your girl? No, you don't, you don't believe that. Like that. Oh, I could never no. love again. Oh. I, you've never it's been called dying That's, with honor. I don't, Get out of here with that Disney shit. I'll grieve. There will be a grieving period. Oh, yeah. I hope so. It'll be a fortnight. We won't even go to the I will grieve. I'll be like, I got things to do. I'll find a new grieve. wife. Hold on. I'm going to grieve a fortnight, 14 um, days. Oh my uh, scheduled. Back on Tinder. 
schedule. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, You're I a pushed my girlfriend over. That's I really, really think you just haven't made okay, such I'm a deep. No, He's being not. a little facetious. Here. I don't think you've made a deep connection enough where you would. Oh, I've be made like, some deep connections. <laughs> <laughs> that balls deep. That's not saying much though, because I'm like average down there. So. <laughs> <laughs> what if you like weren't there to save her in a sense where it happened to uh, her, but you weren't keep there talking. to save? Her? Like, would that bother keep you like the rest of your life? Like, oh my goodness, keep like I just wasn't there. If I was there, this wouldn't have happened. Because mm. I know a guy that that happened to, and that's all he says these days. But yeah, that's I would think about, about it. As a man, life. biologically like made to like with withstand more. A bullet. Than <laughs> yeah, like, aren't what? you strong? Aren't uh, you guys stronger? I am. Yeah. Obviously, yeah, I we're am. speaking in yeah. hypotheticals. Nah, man, bullets but... rip through flesh. <laughs> no matter if you got a pussy or a dick, that shit going through you. It's going through. <laughs> it going through. <laughs> but there's just so much more respect. I don't, if you do I don't think he respect. cares about respect. Oh, respect. It would yeah, be you know. his choice in the end. He's going on Tinder in a fortnight. I mean, exactly. Look, you guys have no preservation. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to you know, go out in a blaze of glory, respect, bro, oh, okay. I'm not laying down my life for respect. Why? Maybe if it was re respect for like a hundred years beyond, you like I was in a history respect? book or something. Here's the, an argument yeah. I've heard, right? Okay, sure, I could die, but think of all the other great deeds I could go on and do. Mm -hmm. If I go on and live another 50 years, what can mm -hmm. I do for, for my kids if I have them? What could I do for a future partner? Mm -hmm. Who knows? Firefighter, selfish, I'm right. a firefighter. And I would have gone on to save but 100 other people had I not died. And that's you valuing your own life mm -hmm. more than your partner. That's conversation because there's no girl who's gonna agree with me on this shit. I found the fucking have magic bullet. Have you found a guy bullet. that's agreed with you? I found the magic bullet for the whatever <laughs> podcast. I can argue with anybody on this shit. It doesn't matter if they're conservative or liberal or moderate. Your argument or is that you don't blah, care. Feminist, traditional, mm -hmm. all the what? Your argument is that you don't care. 